Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick update on this thing here. This is the Eclipse and White Wing. Now I have been playing with this for quite a few months. It's one of those little projects that I keep going back to. It's finally in a condition where it's ready to maiden. However, a few have been in touch asking how I built mine out because some have been struggling to get the centre of gravity right. I'm pleased to say that my centre of gravity is spot on without having to add any extra weight anywhere. Now the all up weight for this is 1,280 grams. Now I estimated it would be about 1.4 kilograms, so it's about 110, 120 grams lighter than I expected. Now that's good news because I sized the motor and prop for this model based on that extra little bit of weight. Now you can go and watch the video, I'll put a link down below to that one where Marcus, the gentleman behind Ecal Can I, kind of did all of the work. Now all of the pieces I've got put in here, I'll put links down below if you're interested. Um, it's kind of what is recommended on the Eclipse and website. Um, I'm going to have to hold it back here so you can see it. This thing is massive. Uh, luckily, the wings do come off, uh, which was a necessity for me because I've got to be able to get this to and from the field. Otherwise, I'd have to strap it to the roof of the car. But luckily, everything does. So what I'm going to do is let me go through all of the pieces here and show you how everything's in been installed and where it is. Quick reminder of what is in here. 40 amp ESC at the back. It's running a uh, 2212 equivalent 1400 kV motor with an 8x4 inch prop. Uh, slightly bigger prop than recommended in the manual, but that's what we figured out when we did that ECOC stuff. In front of the ESC, then there here we have the flight controller. I'm using an old Matek F411 WSC, a fantastic little compact flight controller, and one that I've got a couple of spares of, so I thought, why not put it in here? I have a little basic GPS that I've put under this cover here. That cover is held in place by little M2 screws that you have to buy if you want something like this. And then on this side here, I have the video transmitter with the antenna using a regular little kind of Menace uh, RC Pagoda behind it. In the front, then I have a 4S2200 Gen Zace pack. That's one of the endurance packs. I love for these kind of wings. That hopefully will give me about 15, 20 minutes flight time. And I've also had to install uh, the FPV camera at the front. I'm having to use an older, uh, bigger camera. Um, everything I found this model, I've already fed back to Eclipse and um, the guys over there have been incredibly uh, good at kind of taking my feedback and thoughts. So let me kind of zoom up a little bit. Um, I'll put links town codes down below if you're interested for how I've done the individual pieces. So the first thing I did when I put this thing together was to pop in the servos. Again, these are these Emacs Metal Gear servos, links down below. I first of all used a servo checker to exercise them all. I wouldn't just have them running with no load. I'd also potentially kind of keep hold of the shaft just to try and put a little bit of load on them, make sure they're working okay. Definitely pays to do this before you take the effort to put them into the model. Then once I'd done that, I put all the horns as close to 90 degrees as I could with the servo checker set to 1500 and use the screws that came with the servos to install them into the servo holders. I did have to use an X-Acto to trim it to get everything to fit. And that seems to be a common thing with this model. There's lots of trimming and fitment to do before you reach for the media viscosity CA. Then install the holders into the wings and then put the covers over the top. Don't over tighten the screws, they're not load bearing pieces. If you just do them up so they're nice and tight, then you should find that they will keep everything in place. Next thing to do was then to install the motor and ESC. Now in the diagram of the build, it calls for the ESC to be in the middle of the body. And I don't know whether that's for central gravity. However, the ESC that I've used here, I don't have the option, it's got to be way in the back. So I'm using that one that fits nicely in front of the motor and it did work out for CG. So the motor connects into the motor mount using the screws that came with the motor kit itself and then that whole thing slides into the back of the rear pod and that is held in place by another five of those little M2 uh, kind of self-tapping screws that you have to go and get. 
it can be tricky to line up all of those five screws, but I found that using a very bright light and actually a sewing pin can help line up the holes so it all goes together nicely. I haven't glued that in in case I want to change the motor or change something later on. Now I set up the FW11 WSC as normal, see my iNav series and tested the setup on the bench before I installed everything. Made sure that the GPS was okay, that the receiver was set up and fine, that the modes were all working, that everything was calibrated. Went through the entire setup on the bench so I knew everything worked. I hardly recommend doing this before you then start putting things inside the model. If it all works on the bench and then when it doesn't work after you've installed something, you know you've probably just messed up a bit of the wiring. Once I knew everything was working, then it was a case of installing the camera and the video transmitter. Now the camera mount that comes with the model was set for one of the old school big cameras. So I've had to dig one of those out from my old FPV pods that I have dismantled. Um, I have fed that back to Eclipson and they're working on creating mounts for more typical sizes, things like 90 millimeter cameras that we use a lot in the hobby now. So after fitting that camera into the adapter that comes as part of the files, I found that it fitted beautifully into the nose but if you're buying one of these kits uh, or you need another size I'd let Eclipse and know because they are looking at creating different size camera mounts. Once I'd installed that then it was a case of putting the cables onto the F411 WSE so attaching the cables that's going to control the speed controller that are going to go into the front part of the model for the battery and then solder on the wires for the ESC. Then I put the GPS out in the pod that I'm not going to need to access and put the top on with the number of screws. So that's the GPS hiding out over there. I actually designed a 3D printed little holder as well as use some double-sided foam tape. I also use the same double-sided foam tape under the flight controller rather than the supplied support for the flight controller that comes with the model uh, because I want the flight controller to be in a slightly different position because space is a little bit tight and I've got my ESC just in front of the motor which is different from how it is in the instructions. So at this point this is how it looks so the flight controller is in place we have the power cable going down the nose it is connected to the ESC at the back I bundle up all the cables in the ESC with a little cable tie and use some double-sided foam tape to stop that moving around as well it's in place and then the other side what I've done is I have popped through the holder for the antenna to the rear bay and then I made a little 3d printed holder couple of screws just to help. I could probably do with a little bit more airflow in this side. I'm going to see how hot this thing gets when I'm flying around. I may have to cut some relief holes in the canopy that goes over the top just above this VTX to keep it nice and cool. So that's all the close-up bits. Now, in terms of my thoughts about this after the initial build, uh, this is the stuff that I've also fed back to Eclipse in. I would have liked a little bit more meat here uh, on the ends of the wings where it connects into the body. It's one very thin glue seam. It would have been nice if these pieces kind of went out to slightly thicker plastic. Had it just been uh, felt personally a little bit safer. I haven't flown this yet, so I don't know how delicate it's going to be. Having a carbon fiber rod as well through the front and back, through the body, into the wings, I think would have been a nice touch just to give that extra rigidity because the carbon fiber rods that run all the way through the wings come up into this section, but this feels like a weak point. It might not be. We shall see it when I fly it. Um, I also expected there to be some kind of tunnel between where the flight controller sits and these two bays out in the wings which are perfect for your receiver GPS video transmitter. Uh, at the moment you have to go forward and then back into the bay. I fed back that there just needs to be a tunnel in the plastics in between just to make that cabling a lot shorter and installation a lot easier too. Alignment of the control horns and the servo positioning I think could be a straighter shot that would make for uh, less kinked aileron or elevon control linkages and I would have liked a little bit more airflow as well. Uh, there isn't really airflow going over the ESC that's in the back here. Having something um, kind of 
around the main body or an exhaust at the back would have been quite nice. And unfortunately, because uh, it's kind of built for basic FPV, there isn't enough airflow in here to easily get a modern HD system for FPV in here because they tend to run uh, pretty hot. So stay tuned for the Maiden. Um, hopefully this thing is going to fly and it's going to fly well. So as soon as I've done it, I'll get the video up and we can see what it's like in the air. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.